Welcome to Greece and the Marathon Europa Cup hosted at the Sailing Academy in Sinyas. Only a few kilometers to the east of Athens, the nautical club of Hellenic Seas in Marathon Bay attracted some of the best Greek and foreign athletes for this three-day event for Laser Standard, Laser Radial and Laser 4.7. The event was part of the Europa Cup Trophy, which is a series of highly contested events in different venues around Europe, with points counting towards the European Laser Ranking List. The strong northerly winds that blew on the opening day of racing delivered stunning race conditions. The athletes could not have wanted a better start to the championship, with the big breeze and flat sea combining to deliver optimum conditions for the fleets. In the laser standard fleet, the two former Olympians, Adonis Bajoris from Greece who competed in the laser and Papadopoulos from Cyprus who competed in the fin, were pushing and battling with each other to claim glory. Ultimately, it was the 2012 Laser World Masters champion, Bajoris, who dominated. Closely following Papadopoulos in third place was the young Alexis Katsios, who would do anything in the next two days remaining to climb even higher. Even though he is almost 40 years old, Bajoris is still extremely competitive in the laser class, and if you didn't know better, you could think he was campaigning for Rio 2016. On the second day, the winds had decreased a little, but were still around 20 knots and sufficiently strong to keep everyone focused hard and concentrating, with any mistakes punishing sailors hard and knocking them to the back of the pack. The hugely experienced fleet ensured the level of competition was incredibly close. The 23-boat laser radial fleet attracted the younger male and female sailors, who were also competing for age category titles of under 19 and under 17 years old. In the girls' division, it was the young Greek girl Vasilia Karahayou, the double consecutive winner of the Greek Laser Radial Nationals in 2012 and 2013, who managed to keep up with and keep the pressure on the boys to finish in sixth overall. In the boys' division, Panos Synodinos led from the outset, scoring the most race wins and aside from a 14th place in race 7, never finishing outside of the top two. Sinodinos earned himself some breathing space from the second place Nikolaos Theodorakis and very much controlled the racing. The wind dropped on the third and concluding day of racing at the Sailing Academy in Sinyas, with the breeze averaging 10 knots. Big wind shifts favoured those who kept their heads out of the boat and watched every wind movement on the water, ready to tackle jibe in response. The youngest athletes were competing in the Laser 4.7 class, where sailors up to 18 years of age could race, with two categories for 18 and under and 16 and under. In the two races scheduled for the last day, it was a real snakes and ladders around the racetrack, with the shifty weather throwing up some unusual race outcomes. Vimos Stasinopoulos, who despite scoring his worst two results of the series, still managed to win the event, leaving Orestes Papadopoulos in second. Rounding out the top three overall was Gregory Mazarakis, who was just two points behind Papadopoulos. The first race of the day was won by Switzerland's Felicia Pellegrini, who took advantage of the wind shifts and her light weight to pass the fleet and move up into second overall girl, behind Greece's Chrysanthi Hadzi Dimitriou. As its name indicates, the Laser 4.7 has an equivalent of 4.7 meters of sailing area, making it easier to manage for the younger athletes, but no less demanding in technique. The Laser 4.7 was the largest fleet, with 28 boats competing, eight of whom were girls. The closing ceremony wrapped up a memorable event, with the winners receiving their trophies to the applause of their fellow competitors. Teammates renewed their confirmation to return to the waters of Marathon Bay in 2014. Thanks for watching.